<laughs> Hello everybody. Hello and welcome to a new video. Today I'd like to talk about this HP ProBook laptop. It's a 4730S and it comes originally with Windows 7 and I like to do a Windows 10 installation on it, a clean installation from a USB thumb drive in UEFI mode and a 64-bit version. We have a Windows 7 sticker under the battery, so we have a code, uh, so we have a key and we can do the installation on Windows 10 without any problems. We can use the Windows 7 key, it's working really good. But the BIOS is not able to do a UEFI installation from a USB thumb drive and therefore we have to do some changes. we come to that in a minute. And after the Windows installation we have to do some installation of graphics drivers because in this machine an Intel HD graphics is combined with an AMD 7400M graphics and therefore you need a special Lashcat driver is it called so that that works probably as well. So let's have a look at the BIOS. So by powering up the system and pressing escape gives us a little startup menu. We go to BIOS setup, so pressing F10 and there we go to system configurations, we go to boot options and there we have to enable USB device boot and UEFI boot mode. And that gives us a little warning, we say accept and go back to file and say save changes and exits. Yes. So by pressing escape again gives us the little menu back and we can press F9 for boot device options. And here we have the options to boot from a USB hard drive one, that's our USB thumb drive. But if we would choose this one, then we would do it in BIOS mode. And as we want to do it in EFI mode, we have to go here. So boot from EFI file. We select this and then we can select our USB thumb drive go to EFI, then go to boot and select boot x64.efi. And here we are. This is the normal Windows 10 installation. And uh, yeah, we go to add user and we see us back for the installation of the graphics drivers. Yeah, welcome to the Windows 10 desktop and as you can see I've already installed some software, Chrome, Firefox, LibreOffice, OBS and some others. And we can have a look at MS Info 32 and here you can see we have a Windows 10 Home Edition installation. We have a 64-bit operating system and we are running on UEFI as uh, expected. And now it's time to download the graphics drivers and therefore go to your favorite browser and go to lashcatlabs.net slash downloads underline unifier. And here we can download our latest driver from SourceForge. And yeah, uh, I've already done this so we can jump right into it. So I don't want to do that because I've already done that. And we go to downloads and here we have our driver, our Unifield driver. So just say yes and English and we select deploy. <laughs> So run it as administrator. And now we have to say start installation. And we say next and finish. So now we have to restart the PC. So here we are back again. And now the AMD installation 
is running and we can select install and yeah that's looking good i don't want to have the gaming enveloped app i don't need that but you can do so if you wish and select install here and uh, now the amd graphics drivers will be installed yeah now everything is complete the installations work properly if you have any questions to this build and to this laptop or to the installation procedure just let me know in the comments below and otherwise wishing you all the best see you next time Bye.